Hey guys, welcome back to our new series, TMF Tips. This is our second episode and our first company request for process development. Stay tuned. TMF Tips, yeah, you don't want to miss. We'll be right there when you need a quick fix. Troubleshooting maintenance, finishing the metal. Listen up and don't try to be a rebel. TMF Tips, yeah, you don't want to miss. We'll be all right, guys, I was contacted by a manufacturer of stainless steel agricultural equipment, and he's currently blasting parts like this in a dry glass cabinet uh, using glass beads, and he wanted to see if we could develop a process that would eliminate or reduce the dust that he's experiencing with the dry process. He had two uh, minimum requirements, the first being to clean up uh, the welds on the front and the back side of this part, and then removing any of the minor weld splatter, and then getting a can consistent finish like he does on the dry side uh, throughout the park. I know we've been kind of heavy on the wet blast in recent weeks, but when I got my hands on this part, I realized the best place to start would be with the VHT-1000 by Vapor Honing Technologies. So we're going to go ahead and put this part inside, the VHT-1000. Um, the only adjustment we're going to make for this test is we're going to turn the uh, pressure up to about 70, 75 PSI. So stick around, uh, we'll show you the results here in a few minutes. Yeah, that's the knowledge that you need to know is good for your business. It'll help it grow. TML tips, yeah, you don't want to miss. We'll be right there when you need a quick fix. Troubleshooting maintenance, finishing the metal. Listen up and don't try to be a rebel. TML tips, yeah, you don't want to miss. We'll be right there when you need a quick fix. A brace of blasting, the knowledge everlasting. We got the tips and training that you've been asking. Slow down, don't hurt yourself. TMF Tips is here to help. PPE, find out what you need. Nothing. All right, guys, we got a finished part here. And uh, the first thing I can say I was surprised about was how quickly we were able to finish the entire part. Um, that's to be expected with higher pressures. But we usually run this around 35, 40 PSI. Today we went to 70, and it was just a, a lot faster than I thought it would be. Um, the second thing I noticed is we did hit the minimum requirements, first being uh, removing all the uh, discoloration from the weld there, cleaning it up, it got it on both sides, and then the very consistent finish throughout the part. And we'll show you a close-up of the raw part and then the finished part, and then a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see it. It's kind of hard to see from this angle. Uh, uh, but yeah, I think it's did a great job, and I look forward to uh, presenting this to the company. Slow down, don't hurt yourself. TMF Tips is here to help. PPE, find out what you need. Nothing more important than the right safety. Now, nah, you better watch yourself. Learn the safety gear. Yeah, we here to help. All right, guys, thanks for joining us at our new TMF Tip Series. If you would like us to test or develop a metal finishing process, you can contact us at themetalfinisher.com or just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. TMF Tips, yeah, you don't want to miss. We'll be right there when you need a quick fix. Troubleshooting maintenance, finishing the metal. Listen up and don't try to be a rebel. TMF Tips, yeah, you don't want to miss.